Welcome to my YouTube channel called NXCAD Software Training. So about me, I'm experienced in NX software for more than 19 plus years. I have worked in various industrial projects like oil and gas, marine gearbox, gas turbines, and steam turbine domains. So my passion is to teach and train the people and as well as uh, aid them in the projects. So my name is uh, G Suresh. I finished my BE Mechanical Engineering in NAIT. So this is about myself. So let's see about the NX GUI. Uh, so, so henceforth, I am going to post nearly two to three videos per week. So let's start with the NX GUI. So the NX GUI graphical user interface contains uh, uh, NX gateway mode modeling, assembly, drafting, sheet metal, and those things, how to switch between the applications that we are going to see and how to select the templates we are going to see. And uh, knowing about the GA in detail, what is quick access toolbar, tabs, groups, ribbon board, top border, command finder, resource bar, and queue line. What is all about, we are going to see in detail with the demo. So NX gateway mode means you are not into any of the application. So you have just about under the software that is called an next gateway mode uh, the next one is actually when you move on to the templates actually here you can see towards the right side so the templates are available different different templates formats are available like for model you can choose drawing simulation manufacturing like whichever the template you need according to a requirement you can choose it that also we are going to see in detail so to explain you in detail in nx gui the top border it is called as quick access toolbar and the bottom one like a file home curve analysis these are all the things are called as tabs actually so here you can see the grouped icons and grouped toolbars that is called uh, design toolbars design design toolbar detail toolbars are available they are all grouped under one category and the, the complete line which is available here this is called as the ribbon bar actually suppose we know the menu name uh, option name but uh, we do not know where it is located means we can search it from the command finder as well so and another one is actually here you can see the one more border line over here it is there top border so this top border let us to select whether we wanted to select this component or else we wanted to select the solid body or else body edges surfaces so what kind of things we are going to select it and that is why uh, that is what it is going to help us and here you can see the snap points like we are going to select the end point midpoint quad and tangent we wanted to select it means we can select with the assist, with the help of these tools actually and here you can see in the towards in the top left you can see that there is a resource bar this resource bar will have will contain assembly navigator and the constraint navigator part navigator and many other tools are also available so in the bottom you can see that this is like a command prompt and not okay so this is called as a queue line the system what it expects and what is the input we need to give that we will come to know through this queue lining so this is a graphical area where we are going to work. let's say about uh, next gui so this is a window which is called as a gateway mode so this gateway mode doesn't belongs to any of the applications now so we are not into modeling or drafting or assembly or anything just we have kept the software open this is called a gateway mode so this gateway mode application we can able to open any of the files so base file which is saved in which format which application it is like uh, suppose the file is saved in the model then the file will this nx window also will open in the modeling mode suppose the file is saved in the drafting mode the file also will open in the drafting mode similarly so now we are into the gateway mode so now we will open a new file you can see here there are different kinds of tabs are there called a drawing simulation manufacturing like that so accordingly the templates will keep changing over here in this window so now the units is kept as all so that means you will can able to see inches as well as millimeters suppose I wanted to go only for millimeters you can choose only millimeters so now the model file I'm going to start with so that I am choosing a model is the unit of millimeters so the file name is stored with the model 1.prt suppose you would like to change it you can change it at any you can change it now itself and at the same time the file extension is always .prt irrespective of any application in nx suppose it is a model drafting or else simulation manufacturing inspection whatever may be the application the file extension is always it is .prt unlike other softwares and the location of the file where we are going to save the file so that we can define it from our end so so now i'm going to save it to the files location so i'm giving ok so now you can see here on the type of the application is model and the unit of the file is millimeters 
now i'm giving okay so once i given okay you can see here that we are into the modeling mode since we started our application with the model template so the file is with the model template has opened already so you can see here the file name model one that we are is present and you can see here by default we got the datum coordinate system and um, so regarding the gui i will explain you now so here you can see the menu bars so like file edit view insert whatever the modeling relevant options are available so everything is present in the insert option only so other relevant options are available in the other menus okay so these are all the tabs like home button assemblies curve surface each and every tab will contain a different different toolbars so that we can choose accordingly what we need actually you can see here so at the same time now i'm going back to the home tab so if you see here when we are in the home tab we can see all the modeling tools available so here you can see the group of icons so here you can see the detail feature here you can see the synchronized modeling features here you can see the surface modeling features so these are all the features which is grouped in according to the according to the names actually so these are all the, the entire row which is called as a ribbon bar so this ribbon bar will help us to quickly select all the options whatever we need and here you can see the command prompt suppose you would like to go for any of the option which you remember but you do not know the location where it present you are not able to identify where it is located either by menu or else towards the toolbars then you can able to search it suppose i am right now i am typing it as a extrude so once you type extrude you can give a search button so this command finder will let you to identify the tool and add, ask you to add it so if you would like to add it you can add it in the add to ribbon bar so ribbon bar means nothing this is the area which is called as a ribbon bar over here it will get located so current tab i'm telling so here it got located so now already we have a extrude toolbar in the home as well as extra toolbar also will be present so even though it is already available again one more time it will get loaded so here you can see the resource bar let's see about the resource bar now so now the resource bar when i'm coming into the screen it get automatically disappearing suppose when i'm coming back it will come back again for example when i'm coming back it will come back so when i'm going inside it will get vanished so instead of that i wanted to make it permanent means you can check this button on so that you can able to find out always so when i'm going back to the graphic window even though when i'm in the graphic window this button will keep opening so this part navigator assembly navigator everything will keep open so it won't get disappeared okay so here in the resource bar we have various options like a history History means nothing, whatever the files we recently opened, everything will be here. Suppose we have some files here which we already opened, so that will be placed here. Suppose you do not want to have the history, you can do the clear history also. You can click on this button so that the history will get cleared, so that it will, the, only the history get cleared, not the file actually. The file will be located in the same place. And the roles, regarding the roles you have to always prefer to select in the content you have to go with the advanced option since the advanced option will take care of all the toolbars and menu bars suppose when you are going for some other options or some other roles like cam advanced or else essentials essentials means only the limited amount of toolbars only available not everything is available so that that's why I always prefer to go for advanced option i can give always okay with this yeah so then this is the top border tool so this top border tool contains selection filter in this selection filter suppose we are selecting this coordinate system if you give control e only the coordinate system will get selected this is only to select quickly any of the coordinate system datums features point view or else even the solid body component like that it is helpful only for the selection of the component or solids or something like that and here you can see that snap buttons suppose you wanted to select the model end point midpoint quote and tangent those are all the things you wanted to select it you can select from here other relevant options are also available that you will see in the upcoming classes very clearly in detail there is a datum corner system so this datum corner system is available for each and every file whenever you are opening any new file this datum corner system will keep creating and here you can see the xyz coordinates this XYZ coordinates will let us to help that in which direction we are now. So that is the 
function of this xyz axis actually so this is called as xyz axis this is called as datum coordinate system okay so now we'll move on to the other one so in the resource bar we have some other options called a maximize tab maximize tab means nothing actually now we have the part navigator suppose i want to enlarge this can I, this window to be larger or smaller we can enlarge it like this suppose i wanted to see this screen to be very long very very big screen so in such a time actually what you can do is maximize tab you can go for it suppose you wanted to restore it to restore it that's it and other than that we have another one option called display on left and a display on right so now this resource bar and part navigator are present on the left side so now i wanted to move it to right side means display on right side you can click so the toolbar will this resource bar will move along with the part navigator and everything it will move to the right side so it's based on the user like whether they are on the left hand left hand or right hand or for them it is very useful to configure like which one they wanted so i always prefer to work with the display on the left so that i am here you can see the tabs option and the tab option actually you can see assembly navigator is there constraint navigator is there part navigator is there now we can see the part navigator since the checkbox is turned on on the part navigator we use library and hd 3d tools and some other tools as well suppose i wanted to turn on this assembly navigator and constraint navigator once you can just click on this button the assembly navigator will will come and similarly you can go for the constraint navigator also suppose i do not want some of the resource bars which is available already means so what we can do is we can get rid of it so reuse library i do not want so you can remove that and similarly i do not want uh, uh, hd 3d tools and web browser and uh, touch tutorials means you can turn off one by one so like this you can turn off you can see here the options are got ready to now so similarly you can configure it in such a way what you want and here you can see the cursor the cursor is in the plus mark like this it's a very small one now suppose you wanted to change the cursor size and the shape means actually we can go for we can change it for example i'm going to the preferences to change the cursor so preferences selection once you go to selection button there cursor button will be there cursor button will be there in this option you can see here it is small so that's why it look like very small so now i'm going to change it into medium so you can see here it is this is called medium actually the cursor size has got changed now suppose you wanted to go to the same option and change the different size means actually you can change it you can go to preferences selection do the same activity with the large so this will become very big actually so similarly now we can see only the small cross mark over there suppose i wanted my cross mark to be across the screen means that is there is also one more option is there so you can go for preferences selection so in that you can see here show crossers so this button if you turn on you can see the crossers across the screen so like this like a very big plus mark like it will come so if you want to select it or else if you want to, to uh, highlight any surfaces you can select the same you can use the same cursor as it is so there is no difference in the cursor functionality only the uh, shape has got changed suppose you wanted to come back to the original one you can change it like what you want so generally preferably this cursor will be used only for the drafting purpose generally in the for the modeling and other application purpose they will go for this medium one without show crossers so this would be the preferred one to use in the modeling drafting other relevant applications except drafting in the next class we are going to see about all these options like a refresh fit zoom pan rotate how this pop-up window is going to work how it is the functionality of each and every option what is orient view what is replace view what is the difference between these two all these options we are going to see and along with that we are going to see about um, what is save what is save work part only save as save all bookmark all those options we are going to see so then later later sessions we are going to see about uh, how to create the sketch how to constrain the sketches like a geometry constraints dimensional constraints which is the preferable one those are all the things we are going to see in the upcoming classes keep following my youtube channel called nxcad software training thank you if you have any doubts or clarifications please write or comment 
my email id is nh.suresh.g at gmail.com please subscribe to my channel nx cat software training click on the bell icon to get the notification thank you